Hi and welcome to New South Wales DPI Online. Today we'll be going to uh, show you a few things of what to look for regarding crop damage and mice this spring. Uh, here at Merriwagga in western New South Wales, as you see a nice uh, even crop like this one in front of me here and behind me, uh, chances are that it's had some sort of mouse pressure up until now and the pressure seems to be continuing. So let's have a look at uh, what to look for from now on to the tr into the spring. Crops such as this barley crop show huge patches from where mice ate seed at sowing time. This was late harvested barley last year, which seems to be the worst affected rotation, as barley in 2010 showed a lot of grain on the ground, providing a huge food source for mice. This area consequently harboured large numbers of mice, and as you can see from the video, large patches did not establish as the mice ate all of the seed from sowing. Canola crops such as this one are common in the region where large patches of seed were eaten at sowing, particularly around mouse holes. When you look in many holes in these patches it seems as if they're not presently hosting any mice at all, but in some cases if you do look hard enough some are still being utilised and you will see fresh scratchings outside the mouse hole. At present, it seems that most mice are entering crops from the edges such as this fallow field or local tree breaks. These areas were not baited at sowing and obviously have hosted large enough numbers of mice to become an issue and they head straight from the fallow into the crop. As you can see, mice damage wheat crops such as this one by feeding on the developing head in the stem. Obviously this is the most nutritional part of the plant at this stage and it seems that they target this site with supreme accuracy. Deformities such as what we see here in this video where mice have chewed on the stem and the heads popped out of the side is very common and we see this quite regularly on crops that have had um, stems chewed early in the season. At first it seems damage will occur on individual plants near to the edge but after time damage begins to appear in patches well and truly into the field and when you look down on top of it this is what you see. Canola seems to be the most attractive plant to mice and damage will range from mice feeding on the leaves and the stems and then as the plant matures they will feed on the pods and the developing seeds. It seems that even low numbers of mice can cause a lot of potential damage in canola. It's something to be very careful of and watch with a very keen and eager eye. Given the recent rain, we are still measuring soil moisture levels that would allow us to target well over 2 to 2.5 two tonnes to the hectare in the western environment. Many crops may even reach 3 tonnes to the hectare, especially on fallow crops, and obviously with further rainfall that figure will only grow. For this reason, it's paramount that we continually monitor intensively for mice damage and bait accordingly. Many people are beginning to bait the inside 100 metres of the crop perimeters with zinc phosphide, which is a short-term prevention to mice entering the field. This is now well underway in the local region. As we head into spring, however, more and more crops will be fully baited with zinc phosphide treated grain in order to protect what we all hope may be a better than average season. From my observations, it's paramount to be in your crops having a very close look at what is going on. It's very easy to overlook mice damage at lower levels, so take some time and look closely at high risk areas such as near tree breaks and pasture paddocks first. Further information on managing mice in spring can be found on the following websites.